Could an ordinary one gallon glass jug start a fire sitting out in the sun? Well, keep watching and we're gonna find out. All right, it's 414, it's completely cloudy, it has been most of the afternoon, so you're not getting any kind of solar power at all out of this jug. We did this morning though. See, it's about to thunderstorm on us here. Because of the clouds coming and going, we couldn't count on sun morning or sun afternoon or sun all day. So I decided to switch to brown craft uh, construction paper and just set a jug on it and let it, let it sit there for a few days. And so we'd catch uh, times when the sun was out and uh, either morning or afternoon. And uh, we'll take a look at this. Okay, we had a burn pattern uh, around 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we also had one, uh, looked like it was roughly about four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, um, that looks like uh, sometime around 10 to 12, something like that. So probably about 10 o'clock right in there. So what I'm gonna do is take this off of here. No patterns underneath it. Okay, uh, first thing I need to point out is uh, the orientation of this paper relative to the sun. If you follow the pointer here, the sun would come up in the east, which is back over here, progress around, go up in the sky, this way until later in the afternoon, this would be in around four o'clock, five o'clock, somewhere in here. This being eight o'clock down in this area in the morning. So that's the way the sun went, this way. So early morning focusing was this spot, Later afternoon focusing was that spot, and in the middle of the day, no focusing at all. So, uh, very interesting. Okay, uh, because of all the problems with the weather, uh, clouds coming and going, I couldn't count on uh, clear sky at any particular time, much less all day. So what I did was just decided to leave this craft paper on this cutting board with that one gallon jug filled with water on it actually for a few days and I did that. Here's where I left it, I just circled the spot. What I noticed is very interesting. Um, there's only two times during the day that you got any kind of significant focus. One of them was sometime between eight and noon, right around 10 o'clock in the morning. So the sun would have been coming from this direction. The other time was about roughly four o'clock in the afternoon really between three to five, I'm guessing around four because it wasn't right there when it burned. But during those times, it got real intense, intense enough to actually burn the paper. You can see here in this unusual shape pattern, almost looks like an Eiffel Tower. Same thing over here and actually burned through the paper in one little spot there. So very interesting. And uh, so what this tells you is, if I had just set this jug out there in the most intense part of the day in the, in the noontime, I wouldn't have seen anything because in the middle of the day, I did see enough to notice there was no extreme focusing any time other than that time in the morning and that time in the afternoon. So by leaving this thing out there all this time, I was able to discover this. It's very interesting. Now, the water-filled glass jug is not an ideal convex focusing lens. It's odd how this happened. But uh, what I'm going to do is let's see if I get a similar effect with a larger glass-filled carboy and see if I see that and then use an empty jug and see what happens there. This is a five-gallon glass carboy filled to the top of water. Um, all day uh, you could see a similar focusing pattern what we saw in the one gallon glass jug, but it not very intense. So not, not intense enough to appear to be burning the paper at all. So uh, I'm going to remove that uh, carboy so we can take a look at the paper. That brown ring you see there is simply a water stain from some condensation on the carboy that got underneath it. It's not burning. There's no evidence of a burn pattern after being in full sun for an entire day. So definitely not a similar effect to the one gallon glass jug. Uh, that surprised me. Now this morning, I just set this glass jug down in some dried up grass and leaves and stuff. 
Looks like it has charred a leaf. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Now the jug is full of water. Yeah. Looks like it. Right there. Charred that leaf. This is scary stuff. Okay, no water in the jug. It's about 8.26 a.m. Still no focus pattern to speak of. Just a slight amount over there, but not enough to do anything. So, we'll let it run and see what happens. Right now, it's almost full sun. Having started this around 8 in the morning on July 13th, uh, we had clouds coming and going. Uh, we started out pretty good sun, but then it got cloudy and actually... Um, rain so i just left it out there and uh this is an empty jug no water in it no apparent focusing of the light to any extent at all uh, so i didn't see any tendency of it to try and focus and work it in any way start a fire that i could see and uh basically this wrinkled up look here is just because it had been rained on but uh let it go for a couple of days just to try and catch some sun and uh never did get any focus so uh the jug with the glass jug with no water doesn't look like it's going to do it, at least not in the way I'm doing this. Now, what I'm going to do is take a look and see if we can take a water filled jug and uh, position it in different positions to maybe uh, cause it to ignite a fire at different times of the day. See so if that makes a difference. I decided to try to prop this water filled jug up in a way so that. You could uh, initiate a fire more in the middle of the day. So this is what I've done. Just got it propped up at an angle on this uh, uh, Fresnel lens frame that I made. We'll take a look at this. All right. It's only been a couple minutes. This cardboard's burning. See the smoke coming off of it. Looks like all it would take is really the right kind of uh, combustible tinder. Uh, to start a fire uh, water filled jug out in full sun. Very hazardous. No question that would start a fire. I learned something in this project and I hope you did too. Don't ever store or leave a water filled jug of any sort really sitting out in an area where it can be in full sun and on combustible material. That can be very dangerous. With all the problem of wildfires we are having these days uh, due to climate change, drying everything out in drought prone areas. Uh, anything we can do to help prevent that is worth uh, doing. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, like the video and click on the round anisotropic plus subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.